Without sound, we are introduced to an ill-shaped low-income parlor. Everything in here bleeds. Pots and buckets, baskets and chairs and cupboards all have wounds, except for the gentle on petrol sun rays that bring light into this dungeon, thanks to the many bullet holes in its walls. I am Anna John Scott. I'm from Cameroon. I'm a filmmaker and a screenplay writer. The best thing about being a writer in Cameroon, I think uh, I want to say being a writer in Cameroon is actually a tedious task because it is like climbing a rocky mountain barefooted. Yeah, being a writer in Cameroon, it makes you to be strong. If you understand what I said, climbing a rocky mountain barefooted because it strengthens your muscles. Now, the worst thing is uh, not having institutions to support writing in Cameroon. We barely have those. So you have to struggle on your own. So being a writer in Cameroon is a nightmare, I would say. My educational background, I have a diploma de Tude University in uh, economics in the University of Yaoundé too. And I, am, uh, I have a diploma as a senior youth and action instructor from the National Center of Youth and Sport. Yeah, so I think uh, the diploma from the National Youth and, uh, and Sport uh, Center in Cameroon, it has influenced my writing ability because I've been open to working with a lot of youth unfortunate youth, because I have to empower this youth. So their stories, kind of like, it translates a lot to me. So I put them out in my stories, in my screenplays. So that's how it's influenced me this far. I would say the most pleasurable aspect in my writing process is still when I'm trying to incubate. When I'm incubating, it makes me feel like God. Yeah, because I have to start birthing some characters that don't exist. I have to start uh, creating things that uh, baffle me as a writer. So it's so exciting. I think that's my pleasure. That, that, that's my most pleasurable time when I'm creating, when I'm writing. And uh, the most boring time is when everything is going easy. For me, I feel like, hey, am I sure I'm on the right path? So when I when I when I pop up this create like when I pop up some characters and their journeys are smooth, I'm like, no, 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 no way. Human life is not like this, Scott. So this is boring. So those are my boring times in creative writing. I think. Uh, uh, the, the, the state of Cameroon should really support creativity as a whole, even literature as a whole. Because trust me, there are a lot of creative minds where I come from. There are a lot of stories to be told. Just a life is equivalent to at least a hundred stories. And then talk less of a neighborhood. It's equivalent of a hundred stories multiplied by the number of people in the neighborhood, if you know what I'm saying. So I think the state has to really create an enabling environment for stories to be told. Someone like me, for instance, I got the link uh, to the IWP stuff by chance. A friend sent it to me a few days to the deadline. So I had to kind of like, okay, cook up. I'm a filmmaker. I'm a made filmmaker in Cameroon. And I didn't know about IWP, a prestigious event as this one. So I imagine those who are really down there, it means they don't even have a clue. So I think we should be open to this by maybe the state has to do something. And that's why I'm looking at the possibility of organizing workshops when I go back on creative writing. I understand I master screenplay. I'm new to fiction. Yes, that's why I will have a lot of collaboration with those who already have their feet pinned to the ground to maybe talk to some Cameroonian youths who can at least to get them out there. Yeah.
I would pinpoint on what Stephen King says in his book on writing. He says, as a storyteller, when you're working, pay attention to people, what they say, how they live their lives. And then now you tell the truth about this experience. So it is so important and endearing to me because, first of all, that is how I tell my stories. I realize a lot of the things he says, he advises, are the same things I did, especially in the fisherman's diary. He says you have to live the life of every of your character. Don't treat your characters as strangers to you. Be in their shoes. And that is why in the fisherman's diary, I was in every character, even the least character that had something to say, I was in that character because I wanted to get life from their perspective, not life from my perspective. So that is one author I respect, Stephen King's. And I just knew about Stephen King's here. I've been trying to work on the piece I submitted for IWP. I want to make it to turn it into a full flesh film. The No Way to Yesterday. Yeah, so I'm trying to... I, I, I actually demolished everything and started rebuilding again because what I submitted, I submitted in a hurry. I wanted to get something to submit. So I demolished everything and started rebuilding from afresh. So it's, it's an interesting journey. Though I paused because I wanted to get my hands on something fictional. I wanted to know what it takes to write prose. So I'm currently writing a short story, a short fiction. I would have loved the program to be more open-handed, open arms to screenplay. A lot of it has been more to the other aspects, a lot of light. I understand it's a literary program, but at least I'm part of it. I'm a screenplay writer. I need to feel like a part of the family. So like I say, every, every shot coming to me, I turn it into a positive energy. So this also pushed me to kind of like open up or maybe knock other doors like the screenplay department where I've met some amazing people like Anahita, Dean. Yeah, they have really been helpful. So I was thinking maybe if uh, the next, uh, the next um, IWP program, if they can see screenwriters, if they can really integrate them. Why not even do something with the screenplay department? It will be amazing. I think what I want to talk about is the possibility of IWP spreading its tentacles, spreading its tentacles uh, maybe through the residents as we go back, because there are a lot of us who want to do beautiful things in this creative path, in this creative journey. Because the aim of IWP, I know, is to empower writers, to make writers find themselves more and to become very made writers. So I think uh, we are in a place where we can also facilitate in creating talent. So I was hoping IWP could, through us, maybe through maybe a rose flower to a writer there, because not all writers can be opportune. Not all brilliant writers can be opportune to come to IWP. But if there is a way to reach out to them, that would be so amazing. Uh, the only final words is that I feel blessed being here. Yeah, and I want to say all through all what has taken me to this, to this extent, to this level, it's been the Holy Spirit. And I always want to give credit to him, especially for me. Yeah, because he's been amazing all this way. So, thank you.